when you say it's a dream, it's a, you shudder from saying, holy cow, this is really happening. Back in the 90s was a weird time for craft beer. The retailers didn't know what to do with it. A corner bar back then had about six lines at the most, and it was always the usual suspects. A liquor store might have a little bit of space, but most likely not. And traveling between the, the Northwest and Denver and Milwaukee, I fell in love with the, the craft beer industry. The business planning process said, you gotta create your own market and build a brew pub. So I built the Milwaukee Ale House, which is the kind of a West Coast style big brew pub. And I could really get my head around being able to start a production facility that's small. The dream was to always scale from there and live out some of my engineering dreams and in this uh, craft brewery. But uh, it was pretty clear after really about five years that we're gonna need to come up with another plan. Because of the hardware that we had, there's only a limited amount you can do. The challenge in brewing and, and making a consistent product, improving that product, as well as releasing products as fast as you can, was data. We didn't have nearly enough data. You're doing everything on notebooks and whiteboards. That works in a homebrew setup, that works in a pub setup, but when you're producing at the level we're producing, it's very challenging with a limited amount of data. So when we had the opportunity, we outgrew that facility about three years ago. We really got in the trenches with Rockwell and figured out how we could build a platform right from the beginning that was going to be the last brewery I ever build. We do about a thousand barrels a month out of our old brewery, classic microbrewery, very manual process. New facility, we're gonna be putting out about 6,000 barrels a month. One of the intangible benefits of this control system and how it's affected the day-to-day -day workload of our brewers and production staff, all that stuff you used to have to run up and down the stairs doing, you're not gonna to have to do anymore. Now that that has been reduced and they're focusing on the product, they're able to focus on the things we want them to focus on, better quality, more consistent product, and the art of brewing very quickly changed the reputation from one of the Milwaukee craft brewers to these are the guys that we know for quality. It's a very science-based product. You gotta understand the microbiology of it, but you also have to understand the science of flavors and how they, they develop in beer. And every step of the way, there's smells, there's tastes, there's things that we interact with. And the automation system doesn't take that out of the brewer's hands. The way we brew has to change in terms of efficiencies. That's the automation not only allows more productivity out of our brewing and packaging staff, but it gives us a lot of data and consistency. We're not just talking about Rockwell working with us on the, the front end automation system, the craft brew solution, but also the OEMs and partners that Rockwell has. We were able to specify things that integrated and were going to work well with our system. Now we've got everything from our packaging line, every piece of equipment, data acquisition and control. It was key to have that interface with these OEMs, but then Rockwell's support to make it happen. With the flexibility of the system we designed, we're able to very confidently move into the market knowing that the system can handle the data and the process involved. It's exciting. It's beyond exciting. It's, it's, uh, it's hard to call it work.